Hello all and welcome back. This week's video is a product review of the Miss Jessie Scoily Custard and the Talia YG Curly Curl Cream. The upcoming video is a short clip of the first application of both of these products. Full disclosure, I am not completely natural. About a year ago, I used a Fito Natural Relaxer and I also used Henna that alters the texture of my hair. I have my hair in a protective style consisting of two front flat twists and the remainder in small box twists. On the right of the video, I have Talia Wajid's Curly Curl Cream and on the left, I have Miss Jessie's Coily's Custard. Prior to applying both of these products, my hair was washed deep conditioned and the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer Oil was added. That oil is light but penetrates well and provides good slippage for a good thorough detangling. This is immediately after the protective style so my hair is still damp. My ends are very curly on the Miss Jessie's left hand side of the video while on the right hand side the Tali YG side more elongated and straighter. I wore this protective style for eight days and this is what it looked like on the eighth day wash day. You'll notice frizz here on the Miss Jessie side from root to end and on the Talia YG side, very little frizz until you get to my ends. Over the course of those eight days, I wore my hair in a scarf or bonnet at night for sleeping. I worked out in the mornings. I took my showers with my hair uncovered, allowing the steam and moisture to penetrate my hair and my ends were allowed to get wet. Here on wash day, these are the two products and the tools I'm going to use to do a refresh and redo this protective style. Here is the video of the second application of both products. I'm freshly out of the shower washed and conditioned my hair while it remained in the protective style. And both of these products are going to be applied to damp hair. I'm going to show you the flat twist on each side, the tape down, the detangle, and the application of each product. And again, I will be applying Miss Jessie's Coily Custard on the left and on the right, the Talia YG Curly Curl Cream. And for the record, I consider my hair to still be in the four range of textures. So whether that's 4C, 4B, um, it is a spongy texture, but it is very kinky and coily. And for those that are not familiar with the Fito Relaxer that I mentioned I had uh, applied to my hair about a year ago, that is a natural relaxer that just simply relaxes your hair and makes your hair more manageable. I'm going to use the same Eva NYC spray on oil in this process also. My process is to finger detangle then go to a wide tooth comb for more detangle, and then my Denman brush before the fine tooth comb. I only add product in the area that I'm working in, which would be start on the roots and move my way down the hair. I have a good amount of virgin hair or unrelaxed hair that is more prominent or obvious at the point of demarcation, dividing the two different textures. And on a side note, once I get my feet or relaxer in and do my touch up, I will record that and share my application process. And just to let you all know, I have been happy with uh, my results. And I don't know of a time that I could have waited a year without my hair. <laughs> like completely falling out um, between relaxers and touch up. So just a side note, when I get that in, I will definitely share that application. So back to this, I am applying the Talia Wajid. And again, I have just applied it to my roots and doing the flat twist. Once I get to the point that I am able to pick that hair um, up and it's no longer a flat twist and I'm just twisting the ends, I will add in additional product. Here you see me combing out my ends, making sure that I have not created any tangles. My plan is to wear this as a protective style, but often I like to um, 
wear twist outs and this is a good habit to get into if you like the option of doing twist outs on your protector styles at the end of them we all know that our twist outs are only as good as our installs and those installs need to be smooth and free of tangles to give you the best look Now I'm gonna move over to the Miss Jessie side and do the same thing on that front flat twist. I'm going to finger detangle, detangle with the wide tooth comb, Denman brush, then a fine tooth comb. And again, I will apply a oil and that oil is the Eva NYC 10-in-1 main primer. On both sides, I have shared with you the amount of shed hair after an eight day protective style. I also showed you all that I washed my hair in that protective style. And it's just another way of keeping your hair sectioned off and working in sections instead of having to redo the entire process since I knew I was gonna redo the same style. In the application of both products, I've shown you what they both look like. The Talia Wajid is very thick. It's a heavier cream, while the Mrs. Jessie's is a lighter gel-like consistency. And as stated before, I'm only initially applying the product in the area that I'm working in. So here, I've only applied the product for now to my roots for the flat twist. Once I have raised that twist and I'm just going down the strands of my hair, I will then add more product As I finish up and I look at the two, I can see some differences. The Miss Jessie's is fuller. Both elongate the hair. The Miss Jessie side encourages my ends to curl. It does not have the same stiffness and hold as the Talia Wahajit does, but both give my hair a great shine and a feeling of moisture. In these first images, my hair is completely damp. They are the still images immediately after the protective styling. Next, these are images of the finished style at various times in the drying process. The Miss Jessie's ends are very curly, but I do see frizz on the Miss Jessie side. In order for you all to see the final results better, I've wrapped myself in a white towel. Hopefully this will make my hair pop a little bit better. These last images is of my hair completely dry. These images that I have the scarf over my edges, my hair is completely dry. And as you can see, you can tell a big difference in my ends on the Talid 
wahajit side, I probably could have prevented my ends from looking so um, straight if I had put a rod of some sort on that hair. But on the Miss Jessie side, it encouraged great curls and I didn't need to do anything for them to clump. The next images are of another eight days past. So I have you, I have worn this protective style for another eight days and I have a video clip added in to show you me twisting it out. In all fairness, the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard recommends using that product as a wash and go product. And on my texture of hair, I have not had a product that gives me good wash and go. This is the Miss Jessie's side. This is day eight after I actually put the, that product I in. just unravel the two strand. I unraveled the flat twist. I haven't picked it or combed it or anything. And I just wanted to show you. wanted to do a twist out. Now I work out every day. It's been like 90 degrees over the past week from the time I did the video. But I just wanted to show you the like if you wanted to do it as a twist. So I'm not disappointed with either one of them, but I wanna do this review showing you like after some wear, like if you're doing a protective style, if this is your last couple of days and you wanna um, do a twist out, this is what your results would probably look like. And you'll see there is some fuzz. All of my flat twists usually come out like this. That's the purpose of me saying about combing and making sure that it's very detangled. But my flat twists, because you're grabbing hair and adding it in, they don't always lay as smooth. And I would say this side has more volume. This side, it is very much, oops, that's what I missed. But this is very, still very defined. Look at the ends. The ends are extremely, they they were very curly on this side. Over here, not so. The other thing I know that's big for me is like um, flaking or any residue that's left on my hair. And I am working on a white sink, so you'll be able to see the same amount of, you'll see the residue that came off of my hair. So here you can see there is a little bit of flaking in some of my ends, and that is the Miss Jessie side. But I kind of put the pins there. If you look on this side, I hung over the sink and did the same thing. There is a little residue and a little like breakage or shed hair, but that's it. Now I'm going to fluff this up and show you like if I was wearing this um, twist out. This is me. Like I've combed everything out. Let's look at this. I think it's not human in here. I'm inside. Um, has a lot more frizz um the ends fuller um but still a lot more frizz i think this side managed to stay a little bit more defined with me combing it out and picking it out but if you look at the ends you can see more of the curl definition in this one where these are just appear to be straight this is the actual pick i use to comb it out that one so i use ooh la la hair glaze if I'm just stepping out big hair uh, twist out this is probably how I would right I think I'll, I'll do a list of the pros and cons of what I actually saw and then you can make your own determination based on it or if you have used these products you know leave a comment down for the community and let them figure out like what's good all right until next time